Okay, dear students, in this video we are going to conduct empirical analysis of uh, the formulation which we have gone through in previous uh, video that uh, the estimated value of alpha, uh, beta for A and B <coughs> and then with the help of A and B uh, parameters we can <coughs> find the estimated regression line. Okay, let's start uh, our discussion here. I am Dr. Amjad Ali. Okay, let, uh, we have a first example here that compute the least square regression equation of y on x for the following data. What is the regression coefficient and what does it it's, it mean? Okay, let we have a data of, <coughs> of uh, a, a variable x and a variable y here. And uh, the estimated regression line <coughs> of y on x is that y uh, here y hat is equal to a plus bx so see here our dependent variable is y and independent variable is x and a and b are parameter are, uh, <coughs> are parameter and alpha uh, a we call is a constant or intercept and b is the slope and uh, you know uh, from the last uh, <coughs> uh, video that uh, uh, there are two normalized equation that uh, uh, <coughs> first one is summation y a is equal to n a plus b x and uh, the second equation is summation x y is equal to a a summation x plus b x squared and you are very uh, well aware that how these equations come uh, <coughs> in the form uh, with the help of uh, uh, the previous video which we are conducted on the formulation of <coughs> a and b. Okay, let's uh, start uh, to compute the necessary summations and we arrange the computation in the table. Let's, we have uh, uh, the formula for B is equal to summation NXY minus summation X summation Y divided by NX square minus summation X whole square. Okay, and <coughs> for, uh, for, for estimating the B, uh, A, A is equal to Y bar minus y bar mean the uh, uh, average or arithmetic mean of y bar y and, and minus b x bar x bar mean the estimate uh, estimated arithmetic mean of of x <coughs> okay and then we have a estimated y hat is equal to a plus b x this is our ultimate objective uh, <coughs> which will be uh, estimated with the help of a and b estimated Okay, let we have a, <coughs> uh, have a x series and y series and the sum of these series is uh, total of uh, <coughs> total as summation x is 102 and summation y a302. So, so see here we have a summation x and summation y. Okay, see here we have a <coughs> uh, necessary summation of summation x, y that we have to multiply summation, uh, multiply x series and y series and we get this series and sum of uh, this series is uh, 3853 so this <coughs> this is the summation x y is our necessary uh, <coughs> computations okay okay uh, another we have summation x square okay let we have first to take the square of uh, x and that this series will come okay then sum of this series is 1308 Okay, <coughs> now uh, these uh, necessary summations can be put in the formula of B and A and we get uh, <coughs> estimated value of A and B at the same time. Okay, let's see, we have a B formula and after putting the uh, necessary summation in the formula, we get <coughs> this. And then uh, after solving uh, these uh, values, we get this and at the end we get the estimated value of B is equal to 2.831. Okay, uh, for getting the uh, estimated value of uh, A, we have a formula of uh, uh, arithmetic mean of Y. So let's first find the arithmetic mean of Y, uh, Y or X. <coughs> okay, let's find the first uh, 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 arithmetic mean of X. So see summation y uh, summation x divided by n so we have uh, divide the sum of value by their number and we get uh, the arithmetic mean <coughs> or mean value of x uh, is equal to 11.33 
and forgetting the uh, arithmetic mean or, or simple mean of uh, why we, we use this formula sum <coughs> summation y divided by n so sum of value divided by the number we get the <coughs> mean value of x uh, y here okay so we put these uh, uh, mean value in the formula of uh, <coughs> alpha uh, a and we get the estimated a 1.47 now with the help of this alpha uh, a estimated value and b estimated value we can calculate our estimated regression line <coughs> okay we have here see here we have a dependent variable y and independent variable x so we have to write the desired regression equation uh, regression line of y on x so this means that y is dependent variable and x is independent variable we put the values estimated values on <coughs> on the uh, our regression line that y hat is equal to 1.47 plus 2.831 x so this is our estimated regression line so what does uh, actually the interpretation of this estimated regression line okay see the estimated regression coefficient beta 2.831 which indicates that the value of uh, value of increase by 2.831 unit of a uh, unit increase in x so this shows that if you increase one unit in x bring 2.831 unit increase in y so this uh, the, there is a positive relationship relationship between uh, <coughs> between the independent variable and dependent variable so that's why we call it a one unit increase in x brings 2.83 one unit increase in our dependent variable y so <coughs> here we have a constant value or intercept value 1.43 so what does it mean here if uh, our independent variable is zero so this reveal that uh, a whole uh, of this part become a zero if you multiply uh, slope with a zero then this part will be vanished so 1.47 will be remaining answer so this uh, <coughs> this shows that uh, in the presence of no independent variable 1.47 <coughs> unit increase has been occurring in the dependent variable if our independent variable have a zero value so this is the simple interpretation for alpha and beta here okay we have another example an experiment to measure the uh, stiffness of our spring the length of our, our spring under different loads was measured as follow okay here we have a uh, uh, two variable x and y the series of uh, uh, the x is 3 uh, 5 6 9 10 12 15 20 22 28 and the series of y is this okay uh, here we have to find the regression equation appropriate for for predicting the length given the weight on a spring and the weight given <clears throat> the length of a spring so see here uh, uh, we have first uh, uh, the dependent variable uh, y and then we have a <coughs> uh, 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 shuffle the our uh, dependent and independent variable and then our dependent variable become x and independent variable become y so so we have to <coughs> see the data uh, come from the bivariate population both x and y are random therefore there are two regression line to find the regression equation for predicting length y we take y as a dependent variable and treat x as independent variable but for the other regression case for the second regression case the choice is revised if then we have to take the uh, x as a dependent variable and y as a independent variable in this case okay let's start uh, uh, for the whole procedure pr process uh, the estimated regression equation appropriate for predicting the length y given the weight x is okay we have a <coughs> we have uh, y hat is equal to a naught plus b y x x okay here b y x shows that 
uh, when we are going uh, going to estimate the beta uh, b here that here dependent variable is y and independent variable is x so that's why we write it a base uh, subscript here b y x <coughs> Okay, for the BYX, we have a, a formula n summation xy minus summation x summation y divided by n summation x square minus summation x whole square. And uh, <coughs> alpha nar formula is equal to y bar or y uh, mean minus uh, BXY, BYX, x bar or x mean. So the other uh, other equation that the estimated regression equation appropriate for predicting the weight x given the length here we have a uh, estimated equation y x hat is equal to a one plus b x y. See here we have a b x y. Here dependent variable is x and independent variable is y. Y. And for <coughs> for this purpose, we have a, a B formula summation x y. Here you can see that the uh, the uh, nominator part is same like the uh, like we have a dependent variable x uh, y. So the, uh, no <coughs> here, but the denominator will change. If you uh, uh, normally we can say that the denominator uh, of uh, for the slope is always independent variable. Okay, here we have a <coughs> alpha one formula that uh, the mean value of x minus uh, uh, beta x y or <coughs> uh, mean value of y. So let's start our uh, to uh, to the computation needed for the regression line are given below. So we have a x series and we have a y series. So see this uh, we have a summation x square and we have a summation y square because we are going to find the uh, 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 find the regression equation when one when one time uh, x is an independent variable and one uh, and the other time we have uh, uh, y dependent uh, independent variable okay uh, here we have a summation x y and some of these uh, all <coughs> uh, series are these all uh, uh, column is this so so let's uh, <coughs> put these summation into the formulas for the regression line so the estimated regression equation appropriate for predicting the length y given the weight x is here <coughs> we have a y hat is equal to who a naught plus b y x here x is independent variable and this is the formula for the uh, b that <coughs> uh, no, we put the uh, required uh, summation in the b formula and we get the uh, estimated b is equal to 1.02 and for uh, for uh, for, uh, for estimating the alpha naught uh, or a naught we put the values of mean minus uh, b y x or mean value of x so we get the alpha naught 8.74 Okay, uh, <clears throat> these are our estimated uh, alpha na uh, alpha naught and uh, beta or b. We, uh, now we put these values into the our, uh, our main regression line where we have a dependent variable y and independent variable x. So this is our estimated regression line y hat is equal to 8.74 plus 1.02 x. So let's start its interpretation here that you know that one unit increase in x brings 1.20 unit increase in dependent variable and this is uh, this is the slope interpretation for, with respect to independent variable and if independent variable has zero value then 8.74 is the interpretation of <coughs> intercept are constant this shows that in the in the presence of x is equal to 0 8.74 unit increase has been occurring in the dependent variable okay let's start the uh, when we have a dependent variable x here and independent variable is y here okay then we have a uh, estimated regression line y hat uh, x hat is equal to who a a1 plus b x y y and here y is an independent variable and x is 
the dependent variable okay let's start the necessary uh, 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 summations formula for the beta here these are the necessary uh, summation for the betas and if we put the uh, the estimated uh, or uh, the summation value in the formula and we get this and after the solution of these uh, values we get the estimated beta x y is equal to 0 0.94 and now we uh, find the <coughs> estimated uh, a1 and when we put the values of x bar minus beta x y x bar y bar and then we we uh, we get the estimated <coughs> a1 is equal to minus 7.68 and now we put the estimated value of a1 and beta and b in the estimated equation in this equation and then we get uh, our uh, estimated equation x bar is e x sorry x hat is equal to 0 0.94 y minus 7.68 Okay, here you can see that we can uh, replace the places uh, of uh, slope and intercept. So it's don't worry. It's, it's, uh, they have the same interpretation as we have us here. But here you can see that one unit increase here, because here the uh, uh, beta value or B value is in the positive sign. So one unit increase in... <coughs> y brings 0 0.94 unit increase in x so this shows that uh, there is a positive relationship between independent variable y and dependent variable x but here you can see that uh, intercept or constant has a negative relationship with independent variable okay here the main interpretation is that if our independent variable is none or zero you can say it as zero then minus 7.6 unit decrease you can you uh, you can give the interpretation as that 7.68 unit decrease has been occurring in, in the dependent variable so this is the main difference of interpretation of when we have a, a y dependent variable and x as a dependent variable here in this case both are positive so we are uh, giving the interpretation that uh, both are uh, both are increasing but here we have <coughs> our independent variable in a positive form but constant is a negative form so if y is equal to zero then this part will become zero then minus 7.68 percent 7.8 percent decrease is occurring in the dependent variable so this is our uh, estimated regression line with the uh, with the help of estimated alpha, uh, alpha or you can say a and beta b so uh, with the help of these uh, this regression this regression estimated line we can uh, in the coming session we can estimate the res residual and, re and then then residual sum of scare and then uh, the uh, coefficient of determination in the coming uh, video we will uh, learn to, uh, to find empirically the residual sum of scare and coefficient of determination okay see you with another video